Hi, I'm Jay Malone from Jay's Photography and Design. Uh, just wanted to post a few videos, uh, maybe just a little tutorials. I see a bunch of them online and um, just decided that I would post a couple of my own. Uh, just to let some people know uh, some different things that can be done uh, using uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, CS3 is the version that I'll be using. Um, first off, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I uh, have a small photography studio design shop uh, in Northeast Arkansas. Um, you can visit my webpage at jaysphoto.com and um, there you can find a, a lot of the work that I have done. Um, uh, you can find galleries and uh, different menus, seniors, kids, weddings. Uh, you can find out a little, lot more about me uh, by clicking on About Us. You can see pictures of my uh, myself uh, and you can also see pictures of my wife and my two boys. Enough about me now. Uh, let's go on to what we want to do in Photoshop CS3. First off, I'm going to start with something basic. Just show you some basic color correction uh, that can be done with Photoshop. It's something that's real simple, real quick, um, nothing that takes too much time. Let's open up an image. We'll find an image that we want. Um, scroll down through some of this. this is some of the recent stuff that I've done. Uh, just the other day of a local high school senior. So we're going to open up her picture. Now that we have her picture opened up, uh, we're going to start um, doing just minor things to it. Uh, one thing that I always like to do with my pictures, I always like to sharpen them a bit. Uh, it looks good when you, when you sharpen your pictures. Uh, unless you have a super expensive lens that is extremely, extremely sharp, uh, all digital images need sharpened a bit. Uh, so to do that, we move up to Filter we want to go down to sharpen. Now always choose unsharpen mask. It seems to work the best for me. Now you can play with the amount percentage there um, and if you'll take your the little hand up to this window and uh, you'll grab a hold of it you can move it down like um, the target areas is our eyes. We want to look at the eyes. Now you can see I have my amount set for 150 percent. You can look at the eyes there and see kind of how that sharpen level is. If you click this little hand, let's just click underneath the eye so you can see, and hold down the mouse button with the uh, left mouse button, you can see how it turns kind of blurry again. That's the way it looked before you sharpened it. You let go, and that's the way it looks now. So if you're satisfied with that amount, you click OK. It applies to sharpening. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple simple things here um, that is automated that uh, may or may not work for you. Uh, go up to image adjustments auto levels see kind of how it changes the levels of the picture here now another thing that we can do image adjustment auto color now that kind of added a green tint to it so let's go to edit and fade auto color then you can back this auto color off you can go all the way down there and see the way it looks. Actually, the auto color in this part didn't do as much for me as it normally does, so I'm only going to put at at maybe about 10%. Okay, that definitely looks better than it did before we started. You can also see that by clicking on history. History may be over here. You just have to click history. You go up to the very top one where it opens up. You can see how it kind of has that orange hazy look. Scroll back down there's the way it looks now real rich colors another thing that we want to do image adjustments brightness contrast this can help your picture tremendously here we're going to look see what we can do we want to brighten it up just a little bit not much we want to brighten it up uh, I want to put that at about 25 now the contrast level I want to bump it up as well uh, I'm going to stop on that at about 15. Um, that looks pretty good to me. Now there, we have a simple, quick fix that we have done. Uh, we've taken a normal image. Uh, we have sharpened it. Uh, we have also adjusted the levels, adjusted the color, and also adjusted the brightness and the contrast. This is a quick, simple fix that you can do. Uh, these, like I said, are automated into, into Photoshop. Um, once again, you have to play around with the auto levels, the auto color, 
Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, depending on the situation of the lighting and the coloring. But uh, if it works, that's great. Uh, you can always uh, uh, make sure and go back um, to the history. You can look at the difference. We'll go and look at it again. There's the way it was when we opened it. There's the way it is now. It really pops out. Now, like I said, I would do definitely do more to this picture uh, as far as maybe a little bit of coloring, um, some retouching. You can see uh, when you zoom in, you can see some of the uh, stray hairs, um, some of the retouching that I would do later. Um, but as of right now, uh, we're going to make that full screen again, fit to screen. As of right now, I just wanted to do basic uh, coloring and image enhancements. Uh, I hope this was a help to you. I will be posting more uh, with maybe a little bit more advanced work. Um, like I said, some people have asked me if I could share some of this with them. So this is it. Uh, hope you like it. Again, visit my webpage at www.jaysphoto.com. Thanks a lot.